Welcome back, gamers and gamers, to another episode of Van X Craft. Here we have lots of builds and a recap of what is happening in our world and what you can see in future videos. Uh, I have Maze almost completed. We've been working on the mansion, which is coming along, designed this way. Got a structural design this way, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll show you what happened with that guy there. We got a casino happening. Uh, and a vault, which I'm working on, is almost about to be out uh, soon. So hit that notification bell if you want to see what's going on with that. I'm building my doghouse, the turtles. We got lots and lots of stuff. So basically, that's what this video is going to compile of. Uh, we got shop shops, more shops, more builds, and, and more future projects to come. So we will show you the shops in which we are creating in order to reach our end goal of making our diamond house. So on the other side of this... We are going to be making a diamond house on the, well, from this angle, right side of our mansion, right next to it. So kind of our, our wealth from season one kind of build. And that was our goal from the beginning. So we will get into that. And without further ado, let's show you the shops. As you can see here, we are building, as you do in Minecraft. And most most of the time, I really don't record a lot of my builds because I feel like this point of view is not very good. I uh, figured out that you need another account in order to do like a, a second point of view, like everybody else does. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that at some point in time. But uh, you could probably guess what I'm making here, right? No. We <clears throat> well, if you guessed a beacon shop, then you would be correct. So over there, as you've seen, we have made our shulker shop. The little shulker guy there. The, uh, Hades says he's got a surprise look on his face. He kind of does, uh, but he, he looks like a shulker box. You know, and then they can pay uh, three diamonds for one box, and then. The entire area is filled with a bunch. There's a, a couple rows behind it. Uh, and they could just come take a shulker box and have uh, have those and extras and spare. Uh, I had originally went to the end uh, to get myself some more uh, because I was running low. Uh, then I couldn't find a way out and ended up finding more end cities than I actually found... Uh, escape portals to get out of there which was kind of strange to be honest with you so i just took advantage of it and yeah i know big noob move but i figured you didn't want to see my face going crazy on the right hand side i think i'm gonna end up not putting my face on recordings and only in live streams let me know in the comments what you think of that idea do you like the face cam do you not uh it's all up to you uh but this time lapse will consist of me obviously making some mistakes with my builds because i don't take advantage of creative building as i should uh which i will start doing now so that way i don't have to break obsidian to fix the design like this which is also another reason why i don't record too many of my builds i do a lot of breaking and placing to get it right uh and here we have lots of failed attempts at designs until i get it right
after placing all this glass and then taking a look at it, I really don't like the way the glass looks, so I have to switch it out. But first we need to figure out the light design inside of the beacon. That's why you see me going back to the beacon constantly to try and compare and contrast between the two uh, so that way I can make it look as close as I possibly can. to finish the last bit of details to the beacon shop oh man and we forgot a sign and task so all of our van x crafters are not going to know how much the beacon is but there it is right behind the rocket shop shulker box shop now we have the beacon shop here looking pretty cool and better yet, we have this. Oh, I don't know why I made that. There he is, my man, the wither. Can I put this? No. We'll give something to him in his hand to make him look cool. I don't, I don't know what. I wish I could give him another head, but he doesn't carry it in his hand. He just, uh,. He just, it just replaces. Maybe I'll give him a piece of black concrete. Uh, but as you see here, I've been uh, playing with armor stands a little bit. So I got armor stand here. You can't right click this. You can't pick it up. Oh, you can actually. What, what happened there? Oh, there we go. So you got to be in the right angle uh, to put it there, put it down. This sword slice in this wither in half. That wither is dead. Uh, this wither is running away from me, clearly, as I'm all decked out in, in diamond gear, chasing him down. And, uh, that's the storyline for that, behind the beacon, me killing withers, uh, in order to get the beacon for the server. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All we need to do, and go in here, uh, left one, we're gonna put a sign, there's some beacons for sale, right one is for the diamonds, uh, we'll probably... Put something there, then put a sign in the middle to let them know how much it costs. So, yeah, that's that's that. That looks pretty cool from here. But, uh, yeah, so there is the beacon shop, the shulker shop, and we have room for another shop.
Alright, headed back to finish up some last minute details because details are everything when it comes to builds. You can make a good structure, but like things like this above the rocket looks really nice. Uh, the expression on that shulker's face is really nice. We'll probably detail that a little more too, like the box around. The detail in front of the beacon shop. Uh, more detail inside of here because it's all blue. We're going to put a blue door in. You know, think little things like that, you know, to match around the beacon, the detail where the beam goes all the way up. Uh, and then you got the uh, brewery stands looking pretty nice. So we're going to get some detail on this. Uh, actually, I should probably fix the floor first. I uh, don't want the grass there. We're gonna switch it out for some real floor. Don't need the dirt either. Got tons of it. like to not change it but you know what can you do all right so yeah that's looking nice detail of that detail of this and then uh, the detail of this it all it all goes together you know and uh, we're gonna get some, some barrels up in here Such a tight space. That's why it's not really super proportionate. Put this one back sideways. Oh, or not. Hello. Okay. Put it on this wall. Alright, well I guess it's where you stand. Uh, I guess. Uh, and then we'll put some here. So we're just trying to, you know, maximize the space that we got. Pretty dark up there, so we're gonna have to do these. Oh, that's because it's dark outside. It's dark up there, so we're gonna have to figure something out up there. Yeah, there you go in here, everything is gonna function. Find the potion that you want. Then you can pay for it. Really don't know what we're going to charge. I mean, it's just that some of the stuff is harder to get than others. Like, uh, regeneration to, uh, why, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, gas tears, uh, and some things are really easy to get, so... I put a different source of payment in there. But since how uh, yeah, we were dealing with such a tight space. If you look at this, this is a two by two block to scale, you know. That's four blocks in total. Really can't fit anything inside of that, so that's why we had to adjust the plans, the original plans that we that we had. Uh, and I think it came out not too bad. I mean these bases are a little small for the top and because I had to make the center a little bit bigger. Maybe I should have made those a little bigger. But all in all, it, it looks, you know, looks decent. Your homie's flexing. You son of a bitch, you couldn't build me a platform? Am I supposed to get in this thing? Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's amazing. But how do I get in? I got blinded it all. Nope. Oh, it's so close. That's why I almost died to kinetic energy. Yeah. No. Nice. Kind of, 
trying to fly in this little asshole without splatting like a pancake? Uh, nope. Oh. There he is, too. <laughs> uh, a couple times practice for you. You got it now? First time? This time. Oh! Yeah. Okay. One one stop redstone redstone shop. What what the fuck? <laughs> you think I wouldn't notice you in there? <laughs> hey, you fucking funny guy, get the fuck out of here! You know the funniest part about that is when you went into that corner, you turned black, completely black. O only at the Coliseum. Oh, and I get. A piece of red stuff. Ow. <laughs> See? Okay. Platform, okay. brother. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I oh. came at a really good angle the first turn. Yeah. Bruh. Oh my god. Dude, you look amazing. That, Although, yeah. I don't know if you look scientist is what I'd say that is. What else is that? I don't know. He looks like a freaking race car race car driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's 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 an evil sign. Well, an evil race car driver. Yeah. Well, at least I got two pieces of redstone for free. Nice. Nice. I think uh, I think we're gonna have to make this platform a little bit bigger. Huh? <laughs> okay. As you see inside of our shops here that we made. Starting to work on a design for the Coliseum, sick of the cobblestone look. Uh, and behind the shops, I had an idea for a museum. So, Ben X Craft Season 1 Museum is going to be back here. I am currently working on this with Brian Black Games. Uh, I have been in charge of the exterior, uh, the interior look of it and design. So this is what I got so far. While well, he's gonna work on the outside of it, uh, I helped with the stair design, the bushes up front. There's Brian's duck totem, which is hilarious. Uh, entryway. Uh, this is the floor design that I went with. It's gonna wrap all the way around. Uh, quartz. Side stairs that lead up to the second floor. Uh, still currently working on the interior wall color that I want. Uh, currently, I'm a fan of this mushroom block, even though it is going to be a pain in the butt to get. Uh, we can definitely do that. The mushroom block, you know, works well with the quartz uh, square floor we have on the second floor, and I think. I'm going to make it three layers high, so there's plenty of room for all us Vanex crafters to fill our museum stuff in. From the inside perspective, you know, this is a little dark. We'll definitely be getting rid of the torches. We got this color. We got some end stones, some end stone bricks, even the uh, honeycomb block, mushrooms, uh, andesite, white wool. I feel like all of these... None of them will look terrible, since how they do correspond with all of the colors that we're using inside of this build. Trying to make uh, it look very similar to the Coliseum and blend well with all the stuff we got going on. Uh, Foundation-wise, using stand. I uh, don't know whether the concrete or the wool will look better. The wool, in my opinion, gives it a little more texture. Uh, kind of like a foundation, but this just looks so much cleaner. I uh, gotta give it its 3D dimension. So, still, if you want to let me know which one you like better in the comments below, uh, concrete or wool for the foundation portion of it, and uh, also vote on uh, the back, the wall there. What what do you think should go around this interior wall? Should it be wool. Uh, polish andesite, the mushroom block, the honeycombs, uh, we got end brick, we got end stone, and we got white terracotta. Uh, this build is in progress, and we'll probably finish it up once I can get with Brian Black Games. 
uh, and get it probably three layers high to make sure that we have enough stuff. Uh, but overall, will be a decent sized museum build. But that's going to do it for the end of this video. We got our shops in place. We, people have been buying. We've been making lots of diamonds. Uh, the potion shop seems to be doing well. The beacon shop, man, I can't get these things fast enough. They're starting to run a little bit low on choker boxes, but when we get to uh, where we run out, we'll go grab some more. Uh, and then we got the museum build in the back with a nice backdrop of the Van X crafters inside of this shopping district slash Coliseum build. So, that's going to do it for the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the shops that we build. Hope you're excited for the museum where we can display all of our stuff. It's going to be very, very epic and lots and lots of fun uh, displaying all the stuff from season one uh, and everybody's memorabilia things that they want inside of there. Uh, this little fight scene with the widow running away from me has got to be my favorite so far. Uh, we've been working on the Coliseum as a group pretty well. It's starting to come together a lot and hopefully we'll see that soon and don't forget to like comment subscribe because i am almost done building a casino and we are going to have the grand open for that very very soon you don't want to miss it trust me it's that little red button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen go ahead click it free just smack that like just like that that'd be nice and you can always unsubscribe at any point in time if you want that's gonna do it for this episode this has been your boy dry palms we will see you in the next one peace out so i feel like i have not made enough pranks in this season so here is another one for my man Bubba since how you haven't been getting on much anymore your base makes it real easy for me to create pranks so this block here which I've created uh, due to my armor stand trick he will never be able to fill never so this block will always be there either he's gonna have to build something around it or he's got to look at this hole forever because if you were to take a block throw it on there it's just gonna do that and you pick it up to get rid of it sure but will he be able to fill this block no <laughs> enjoy that <laughs>